Hey everybody, Charlie Nair 2 here, and welcome to the Case of the Golden Idol. What do I know about this game? Not a whole lot, other than it appears to be a quirky detective game. I've seen it on uh, advertised on Steam a few different times. It's on sale this weekend because of the new DLC that's came out for it. Uh, I have not purchased that. We're going to play the base game and see if we like it first, and if so, maybe we'll look into going into the DLC. But uh, yeah, so I've had some trouble trying to record this and get the audio balanced. I haven't started the game yet, but just something as simple as going into settings will cause my screen to blank out on OBS when I'm recording. So hopefully that doesn't persist throughout the game. If so, we'll try our best to uh, fix it. But let's go ahead and start a new game. Recommended experience with highlights. Select this if you don't like pixel hunting. I don't like pixel hunting. Then we have no highlights. Select this if you don't mind finding all clickable spots on your own. No, don't want to do that. That will take forever and I will get frustrated. Frustrated. I like being able to know what I can interact with in a game environment if it's not inherently obvious. So we're going to go with highlights. An abrupt termination of contract. Press anywhere to continue. Well, what is going on here? Exploring or thinking? Uh, sure looks like this man is getting pushed off of a cliff. By the way, I've got the audio boosted all the way for this game, so it's just faint. I'm sorry about that. So we got hints. We've got sunshine. Oh, that's the highlights. We got settings, which I'm afraid to click. We have a home. I bet that's go back to the menu. Exploration thinking, zero out of 11, A to Z, question mark. How to play. Observe environment and gather clues. Drag the right clues onto the right slots in the thinking panel. Panel, not panel, panel. Fill the scroll to finish the scenario. So kind of like Oberdenish. A little bit. Except for it looks like we're clicking and dragging what's going on. My phrases disappeared. When you fill in a panel correctly, all the phrases used in that panel will disappear from your phrase collection. Instead, you can now use them from your filled in panel. So if you have lost a phrase, check your filled in panels. So we can't, can or can't use process of elimination. Mouse wheel is zoom in or out. Okay, that's a thing. Space, open and close thinking panel. Right click to close a close up or remove a phrase from a slot. F toggle full screen, we're not gonna do that. ESC close pop ups. So we can zoom in. Oh, we can zoom in. So it doesn't like change the rendering or anything, it just literally makes it closer. All right, let's try clicking on something. I knew what you were plotting, you snake. You are killing this man. There's a pipe. January 5th, 1742. Both parties agreed to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paul Island. Albert Cloudsley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one-third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. Dr. Oberon Geller, Esquire Albert Cloudsky, Cloudsley. We can click on these. Oh, we're like getting the information. And then we can, okay. What does Esquire mean? I see that in a lot of like, where people are trying to sound fancy. I have no clue what that means. I know what doctor means. All right, so we have to hit escape to close this, right? Or no, right click, right click. There is a dagger. All right, right click to get out of that. All right, let's check out the pack. Tobacco, tobacco pouch and a pipe cleaner. So we need to actually pay attention rather than just clicking everything too. So there was an expedition. I'm assuming these are the two individuals. The doctor is doing wants to do two-thirds for funding the expedition. Now, it looks like they have found two bags filled with gem, gems, two-thirds. So this would 
lead me to believe that this would be the doctor's backpack. He also has tobacco. Well, hold on. No, this is a bag of medical instruments and some medicines. A golden statue with a red stone and a bag filled with coins and gems. Now, if we were correct here... No, okay. Okay, so the doctor wanted the golden statue. So I thought this was vice versa. I thought the doctor funded it, but no, it was Esquire who funded it. Albert Cloudsley. He wanted two-thirds of valuables. The doctor wanted golden statue plus one-third. Which looks right to me so far. So let's look at this guy. Ah, he says. I would, I would bet he does. You are the doctor? You could be, unless you took the scalpel in order to try to kill the doctor. You have the same note. Horn of finger. Horn of thumb. Ruins of Xenopolis and Bay of Shadows. Looks like they went to the ruins of Xenopolis. You also have a med medicine bottle. So I would assume you're the doctor then. There's still cold. Oh, because we have to click. Yeah, okay. And then those go red. So we have to click and make sure that we've did this. Okay. All right. So is that all of the info that we have? Looks like the doctor had a scalpel, and was possibly going to try to kill this man. He found out, pushed him off a cliff. All right, thinking. Oh! So, we're going to say Albert Cloudsley. Oh, and look what we can do. We can say, you are Albert Cloudsley. And you are Oberon Geller, the doctor, right? When a scroll is completely filled in, words can be dragged directly from the slots. Okay. All identities are filled in correctly. So now we know that Oberon Geller got pushed from a cliff in the blank of blank on Monkey Paul Island. Well, it says Ruins of Xenopolis, and we have a X, so I'm going to say it's that. Oh, wait a minute. The camp is in Ruins of Xenopolis. Hmm. He's got a map. I mean, that's the only thing with an X on it, right? So other than that, we would have no way of knowing other than looking at the islands. Ah. There's two islands. So we're at the Horn of the Thumb. Right? That's where he was... He was thrown off a cliff at the Horn of the Thumb. Hey, look at us using logic and deduction. The scroll has been fulfilled. No hints assessed. I don't want to use hints this whole time if I can. While Dr. Oberon Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsley Esquire, suddenly pushed him off a cliff. Return to scenario or stay in... So, so do we not need to fill this part out? If we stay and explore, we can say the camp is in the ruins of Xenopolis. That's not right. Horn of the Thumb. Okay. Well, yeah, because they were camped there. I thought, so this is X because that's where they went on their expedition. So how do we... Okay. How do we finish now? So now do we go home? 
We go home. The scroll has been fulfilled. Chapter 1, Complications in the Family. Oh, this is cool. All right, cool. Let's try number two. The untimely passing of a rural, rural gentleman. Hmm. Bleeding from what appears to be the back of his head. Blood goes out of the room. Is that the golden idol? Can we do anything with it? Or does it just show it? The yacht is slowly floating in the river. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Like a some type of uh, not architect, but draftsman. Some this is like could be engineer. This used to measure distance, right? Not distance, but uh, thickness of something. Spontaneous combustion. I, Sebastian Cloudsley. Well, let's click both of these will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. August 22nd, 1786. Woke up. A beautiful day. Washed and dressed in my dining attire. Had a beautiful roast duck. Wait, woke up at noon? Beautiful roast duck for lunch at 2? Changed into my hunting attire. Rode to hunt badgers. Had no luck today and returned home. Change into my researching attire. Change into my dining attire. Wow, that's weird that he would put... Every time he changed into a journal. Had a tasty beef loin for supper. That sounds good. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. So according to this, the last thing he was wearing would have been dining attire. Filled in diary and went to bed to continue reading. So you should have a book then by his bed. There's a book. What's this? It's August the 23rd. This is yesterday, August the 22nd. Woodshire, Crow Tower, Blackfield. What is this? Now there's a river. So that means we're in Blackfield. Either looking... The sun is going down or up. Can't quite tell. Probably going down, so we're probably looking west. Which means we're going to be like over here. There are trees in the background. We could be looking over like this way. That's north, this northwest. That could work. All right, but we're definitely in Blackfield. Tall, rickety ladder. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Is this you? If so, this is your dining attire. That is not what you're wearing. Okay. Not wearing his dining attire. Henry Clover. Lead poisoning. Sebastian Cloudsley. That's who this man is. man is not breathing. His head is badly wounded. This looks different than that. There's blood on the front of his head here. There's also blood coming out of his eye and his mouth. A ring with a ruby. Hmm. Thinking. Alright, his name is Sebastian... Cloudsley. 
Lord of, what was it, Black something, Blackfield, passed away in his bed. The cause of death. So he had to have fell from a ladder, right? While he was... Oh, they have your different attire. Well, this is dining attire. This has got to be researching attire, which would make this hunting attire. Okay, so he was wearing his hunting attire. But he wasn't hunting. He wouldn't have been hunting on a ladder. Mm -mm. I feel like the game wants me to put hunting as the answer because we've correctly determined that that is his hunting attire. Let's go back real quick. Changed into hunting. Road to hunt badgers. Changed into researching. Changed into dining. Had tasty beef loin. Filled my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. And he was, he had to have been researching because he's looking up spontaneous combustion. He was trying to get this book for lead poisoning, fell and hit his head. Now the question is why the blood goes out here. So, hmm, what is this mask? We know this is Sebastian Cloudsley. Fell from a ladder while he was... I'm gonna say, he had to have been researching. He was climbing on a ladder to get a book. But that's wrong. Well, it doesn't say it's wrong. Head wound. Oh, and this is gone. Sebastian Cloudsley. See? The answer's hunting, right? But... What? Well, he wasn't dining. Two or fewer. Sebastian Cloudsley. Lord of... Blackfield passed away in his bed. The cause of death was head wound which occurred when he fell from a ladder while he was researching hold on now horse horse is running in the yard why's why is a horse running in the yard is this lower this is lower so we are facing north because it's going this way. So we're here. That is going down, right? He could be facing south. There are these little people too. But there's mountains here. Looks like he's looking north to mountains. I, I want to say he's in Blackfield. But if he's in Blackfield, he must be facing south then, because these are the only three buildings that it shows. And then this is... What is this rotation? I don't understand this part. Right here. What do I have wrong? Man is not breathing. His head is badly wounded. A ring with a ruby. 
Huh. It only zooms in to like the center. Okay, so there's three pictures of clothes. What are these clothes? Huh. Yacht is slowly floating in the river. What is this horse running by? What's the significance? And maybe he fell off his horse while hunting. Oh yeah, he didn't fall off the ladder because the blood is trickling into here. Ah, head wound which occurred when he fell off of his, let's get rid of this, fell off of his horse while he was hunting. That's it. I feel like it didn't show the horse running about to begin with, so maybe we had to get it wrong to show the horse. While the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. Okay. What is this? Is that Ozzy Osbourne? Sharon! Okay. What's the... Um, significance? Oh, there's one here. Oh no, this falls down okay well let's do this one then complications in the family the dramatic departure of an outsider these are cool this is actually pretty fun i actually really like this this dude is he spontaneously combusting we were kind of hinted at that is this sebastian cloudsley there's ozzy osbourne Oh, and look, there's another area. All right, first, I want to see what this is. It's a little dinosaur thing. Now, can we go back and look at other cases? Are they significant? Because we've seen this little dinosaur thing before on that map in the last case. Stable Rota for Adam and James. That's going to be important, I'm sure. What an unexpected turn of events. You seem very interested in all this and not, like, taken aback. Embroidered handkerchief. E.C. All right, so we know you're E.C. Dear Edmund. So his first name is Edmund. So let's, let's go straight into this, and let's just do that. This is how I would do in, like, Oprah Den. As soon as I learn information, we're going to go ahead and log it. It has reached my attention that you are seeking a capable new servant. Not just the man for you, David Goran. is an experienced coachman with a diverse set of talents that I am sure you will find very useful. If you are displeased with his services, do not hesitate to let me know. Yours, Theo. David Goran is a coachman. You have a dagger. A stiletto. London Gazetteer. Monday, September 7th. Hey, it's a good day. 1786, Lord Edmund Cloudsley's. You're Lord Edmund Cloudsley. Speech stirs Parliament. Okay, so we go right into thinking. We're going to throw this right in there. Lord Edmund Cloudsley. Are all the Lords Cloudsleys? And then you've got three pounds and three shillings. No idea what that is. All right, you there. Hmm, interesting. There's a lot of like people who just think this is interesting. Ash Blair Finest Tobacco. Is that a monkey smoking a pipe? Prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We are to visit my nephew. Okay, so you are David Garan. David Garan. 
saddlebag for Edmund Cloudsley. Dagger and two shillings and a penny. No idea if that's a lot of money or not. Who are you? Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. Did you take the ring with the ruby and the idol? Oh, what is going on with this? Can we... No, this is a different idol. This one has a blue gem. The other one had a red gem. But you do have a sim similar ring as to the last guy that fell off the horse. Spontaneous combustion. To perform the combustion trick, you must first cast a freezing spell. Wait, so did you force somebody to combust? The sacred glyphs for the combustion on the idol are candy cane, green lantern, crooked finger. Candy cane, green lantern, crooked finger. And then you pull that and make somebody combust. Is this Cthulhu? You have one pound, two shillings, and two pence. I wonder why the money is important. What? The Blazes? August Jockey Club Derby. Ren wait. Ren. Race win. Place show. Wager. Three. Raging Sultan. 35 pounds. What is the significance of that? <laughs> I love it. Look at the freaking zoom in like it's just a dude just dying all right we have scorched horse brush what 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 didn't mean to go all the way out and scorched knife horse brush so that means you are probably one of if you had the brush we got to figure out what day it is got to figure out what day it is uh so What day was there a August Jockey Club Derby? Spare me double. I was simply following orders. Astonishing Monkey Man. Property of Pear Brothers. So you're somebody Pear and that's your brother. You have a knife that has an A on it. So you are Adam Pear. This guy, Adam Pear. All right, so Pear for you, Adam. Which would lead me to believe that this guy is probably James Pear. Because he had the horse brush, and we know that that's his brother, right? So that's going to be Pear, and that's going to be James. All right. Looking for a few more names. Hmm. We can go in here. Oh, there's more people. What is this? Fat Lord. Pear twins, Adam and Jay. All right, we've already got that. Uh, that doesn't do anything when I click on it. Fat Lord, Adam and Jay, Pear Brothers. Batley, Cloudsley, Cubert. So, Batley is a dragon. Cloudsley is goat. Cubert is palm tree. So we're in the Batley Manor. So these are going to be Batleys. My apologies, he can be so bad here sometimes. You have six rings of various stones, four pounds, ornamental guitar blade, a fan, and Shamal Bat. Simhansa Batisi? No idea what that is. All right, but that's going to do it for this episode. Tell me, what do you guys think of this game? I'm having a blast so far. Uh, go ahead and stay tuned for the next episode. If you like my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.